Hello and welcome to today's art tutorial. Today's video is all about drawing eyes. Today we're not going to be drawing hyper-realistic eyes because let's face it, there's enough of those tutorials on the internet. We are going to be drawing animated, exaggerated, stylized eyes. So if you want to be a character designer or illustrator or just want to get better at drawing different types of faces, stick around until the end. Let's start off with how to draw a stylized set of eyes from a front view and then how to make them more expressive. You can see here that I am outlining the eye and today, like I said, we're just going to be doing a stylized set of eyes. I always work on the outline first for both eyes before doing the pupils or the inside of the eye. I want to make sure that the eyelashes and the outside of the eye looks about the same first before I start working on the detailed parts like the middle. When drawing stylized eyes, the eyes are typically larger than normal human eyes, usually, but not always. But the important thing is to make them still look anatomically correct. As a general rule, there is usually one eye width between the eyes. And now that we have our set of eyes, let's get to learning on how to make them more expressive. As we get to finishing up this first drawing example, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the pupils of the eyes. You wanna make sure for a front view that these don't look like they're crossing in too much or you'll end up with a bunch of cross-eyed characters. I usually have to draw the irises a couple times just to make sure that they look right. I, you are gonna see me here, I'm gonna flip my canvas and I have noticed that the eyes are not the corners of the eyes aren't pointing exactly the right way. So if you're using Procreate, which I highly suggest, you can go ahead and tilt anything that you want until you think that you have the eyes the way you want them. I am going to use a liquify here on the bottom of one of the eyes to just tip it up just a little bit so that they look more symmetrical. Next, we're going to go ahead and draw an eye from the side. So something I don't see in a lot of other tutorials is people drawing from eyes from multiple different angles. Usually it's just a front view, but I have found that one of the most helpful things to do is uh, getting tutorials on how to draw eyes from different angles. So the side view is something that actually took me a little while to figure out because you know, when I was younger, I used to put the eye way too close to the outside of the face when really it's like, you know, the bridge of the nose is in front of the eye itself. But also drawing the eye from the side, it's a lot, it's a lot more squished looking than it is like looking at it from the front. But I think studying Pernille Lorum's work really helped me with getting eye angles down. But let's go ahead and look at some other examples of angles of eyes to get the expressions correct. So for this section of the video, I have went ahead and found some reference photos and changed the opacity to where you can kind of see through it and draw on top of it really easily. In this first picture I'm going to be drawing, it is um, uh, Phoebe Tonkin and this picture she's looking like sort of to the side and kind of down and you're going to notice that I'm drawing both eyes. Um, a lot of tutorials don't show you how to draw multiple like both of the eyes at the same time. So like I did before we're not going to do too much detail. This one I kind of do. I do because I, I outline the shape first with that purple and then go over the inside of the eyes and the eyelashes and you notice that the second eye that I'm working on, it looks smaller and kind of like, definitely more at an angle because she's her face is at an angle. You're not gonna necessarily always draw the eyes exactly the same. And this next one, I'm drawing Tessa, can't remember her last name, from Thor, Love and Thunder. And she just has like a completely bored look on her face. And you can see that I still draw the whole like where the eye socket would be. And then since her eyelids are closed, drawing a ha like a line through the middle of it where her eyelid is. I'm giving her really big eyelashes. And of course, because she has this bored look on her face, her irises and pupils are just like little half circles under her eyelids, which like makes her face look very expressive. 
and filling in the pupils. And then the next one that I'm going to be drawing is Scarlett Johansson. And um, with her expression, I really wanted to show the angle of how her face is kind of scrunching in the middle because she has a very like concerned look on her face like she's unsure about something and I also wanted to show where the pupils are in the eye so I draw I am drawing lines like through the center of the pupil to show you where they're supposed to be the way that Scarlett Johansson's eyebrows are just kind of scrunched down and then you can see the eyelid, drawing the eyelid at the angle that it is is very important for getting the expression down because a lot of times when a character has a concerned like disturbed look on their face like this, the eyelids are going to look flat and then like kind of um, like flat and then like they have they point in a little bit. Lastly, and I'm not sure who this reference photo is from. I think that maybe she's just a, a model from Instagram. Um, I found all these pictures on Pinterest and you can find them under my facial expressions board on Pinterest if you want to get some really good ideas. But for her, her eyes are very sad and I wanted to get that sad expression and show you guys how to draw that as well with the eyes. So sad eyes kind of look like a half moon half circle shape with the bottom eyelid um, the bottom of the eyelid is like flat and curved upwards um, and this is just like when we're sad like what you know like when you feel like you're gonna cry and your eyes like want to squint um, to try to keep all of the tears inside that's kind of what you want to remember when drawing sad eyes is mostly just the bottom of the eye and with that depending on what way they're looking the it's going to be the opposite of um, what I did for Tessa's eyes where it was like flat on top and the you could see like the shape of the pupil and the iris is just going to kind of look the opposite of that because you can see that her pupils are flat on the bottom because the bottom of the eye is covering them. I think this tutorial also just goes to show you that even with just drawing the eyes, you can really get a good expressive character and not all of your characters need to have like same face syndrome. Also something I feel like I should note is that if you are practicing getting poses or like facial expressions or anything down and you don't feel comfortable just drawing freestyle, it is totally okay to do something like this where you change the opacity down and you draw over another picture. I am not like, I'm not saying that you should trace other people's work and then say that it's your own because that is completely wrong, but doing something like this as a practice is a really good way to teach yourself how to draw and then you can start drawing freestyle stuff like this if you want to and know how to do it. It's a great way to get better at learning expressions and just enhancing your mental library. You can't get better at anything unless you find good ways to practice that will actually help. If you're a beginner artist, please go ahead and go to my Pinterest account. You'll find tons of boards um, all about drawing and reference photos that you can use. I have lots of really good stuff that I use every time I need to find something to draw. Like I said, all of the references I used today are from one of those boards. It's called Facial Expression Inspiration, I believe. And if you want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram and stay in touch with everything that I am doing art related wise, my Instagram page is under leaharris.art. All of these links will be in the description box below so you don't have to type them in and go try to find them. You can just go ahead and scroll down and click on any of the links that you're interested in. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that it was inspiring to you and helped you learn something new today.